Well, hi there, I'm Dr. Newsom, and today we're gonna to talk about women's health and the hormonal changes that affect your overall health. If you enjoy this video and you like what you're learning, subscribe to our channel so we can show you more videos like this. Let's jump right into it. Today we're gonna to discuss hormone imbalance in women. Okay, uh, hormones affect everything. Okay, they affect how we feel, they affect how we metabolize our food, they affect how we sleep, they even affect how we think. Okay, in, in women, women face multiple hormone imbalance events throughout their entire life. We got puberty, we got uh, menstruation, we got pregnancy, then childbirth, breastfeeding, premenopause, menopause, and then postmenopause. So in a previous video, uh, I listed the different categories of hormones, okay? And these are reproductive hormones, we got uh, metabolic hormones, and then we also have neurotransmitter hormones. And collectively, these hormones control 100% of our body's physiologic functions. Okay, so when you go to the hospital, or you go to the doctor, and you don't feel well, you say, Doc, I don't feel well, you know, yada, yada. And they do lab tests, run lab tests, okay? They don't routinely test for hormone levels. They're not checking hormone levels. They're checking all kinds of other things, but they're not checking the hormones. Given the fact that they govern 100% of our body's physiologic functions, don't you think they should be tested routinely? I, uh, absolutely. So as you can see, hormones are extremely important in regulating our entire system. Okay, so they regulate our metabolism, our appetite, our reproductive function, our sexual functions, our heart rate, our mood, uh, our stress levels, and even our temperature. So they regulate everything. Okay, so let's discuss some common symptoms of female hormone imbalance. We're going to start off with sleep difficulties, okay? So we got two different cases here, okay? We got one case where ladies wake up in the morning, they make it through the whole day, they get to the evening, but then they lay there and cannot get to sleep at night. Okay, on the other side, we've got the cases where they wake up in the morning, they're oh, exhausted all day long, and they get to the evening, and all of a sudden they have energy, and then they don't end up sleeping very well either, okay? Both of those are hormone-related symptoms, and the adrenals are usually at the root of those, those symptoms, okay? Next, we have irregular menstruation. So with irregular menstruation, that's caused by thyroid problems, by uh, insulin metabolism issues, and by uh, faulty ovarian you know, functions. Um, it can be... A, any one of those, any two of those, or all three of them together that's causing the irregular menstruation. So in conventional medicine, when we give a, a contraceptive to a young lady that's having irregular periods, uh, it's not actually treating the cause, okay? And what's really sad is that uh, contraceptives disrupt thyroid metabolism and insulin metabolism. Okay, our next symptom is heat and cold sensitivity. Okay, so this is directly related to thyroid and adrenal function. It has to do with your body temperature and, and whether your body temperature is normal or low. Okay, and if you're more heat sensitive, it tends to be more a thyroid issue. If you're more cold sensitive, it tends to be more of an adrenal issue. Um, we also have persistent fatigue. Okay, here's one of the things to realize with hormones is any hormone, any particular hormone, when it's out of balance, can cause fatigue. The thyroid's too high, thyroid's too low, insulin's too high, insulin's too low, adrenal hormones, high or low, ovarian hormones, high or low. Because of how they relate to each other, any hormone in being imbalanced, any single hormone, if it's out of balance, can trigger the symptom of fatigue. Okay, so our next one we're gonna cover is anxiety, okay? Now, anxiety is interesting in that, again, any hormone being out of balance can cause anxiety, okay? But anxiety is a symptom that requires a lot of energy. So it's real interesting that people with anxiety almost always have fatigue, okay? And 
what's interesting also is that you know you could have high thyroid hormones or low thyroid hormones in and have a have anxiety. You could have high estrogen or low estrogen and have anxiety. Okay, so it's a symptom that's produced by some hormone or by multiple hormone imbalances. Other common symptoms that are related to hormone issues that most people don't realize are related to hormone issues are indigestion. Okay, indigestion when uh, when the liver isn't metabolizing our hormones properly it produces indigestion. We have gas and things build up and we don't digest things properly. Um, another one is skin tags. <laughs> skin tags are a sign of insulin resistance. Okay, so if you're insulin resistant, eventually you become diabetic. And one of the early signs of that is a skin tag. Um, another thing is osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is caused by too much stress hormones for too long, okay, and then not enough reproductive hormones in our system. So when the stress hormones are high but the reproductive hormones are low and that goes on for too long, it erodes the bones and they demineralize. One thing to note is by the time most women in the United States reach 60 years of, of age, uh, they have some form of osteoporosis, and it's not just a calcium deficiency or a mineral deficiency. It has to do with the hormones. Our last symptom is feeling overwhelmed, okay? Um, when a lady's feeling just overwhelmed, it's because the overall level of hormones are low, okay? And that's our neurotransmitting hormones, the metabolic hormones, and the reproductive hormones. It's something is low or all of them together are low. When that happens, we just don't have the capacity to deal with things. Balancing your hormones is key to optimal health. So pay attention to what your body's communicating to you. If you suspect a hormone imbalance, contact your functional medicine doctor I hope you learned something today. I'm Dr. Newsom, bringing you optimal health naturally.